In this farm water video series, we've already spoken about the importance of having enough water to meet your needs. Equally important is water quality. So water quality can vary widely depending on the source, the time of the year, and even recent conditions such as drought or major storm events. With the recent drought, both water quantity and quality were, were real issues. Poor water quality means that livestock are likely to drink less and if water intake goes down, feed intake also goes down and the risk of animal health issues increases. A whole range of things can affect water quality and its suitability for livestock. This can include pH, salt levels, algae and contamination even from dust or manure or, or feed and even water temperature can all affect water quality. All of these things have an impact on the palatability of the water making it less attractive to stock and thereby reducing consumption. A water test can help determine the suitability of water for a range of uses or if it's going to cause issues. So is it suitable for, for livestock? Is it suitable for stock and domestic use on your gardens? Things like that. A water test can give us some clues but it won't give us all the, all the answers. It, you know, it won't pick up on things like water temperature, dust, odour, things like that. That's when it comes back to really you know, livestock skills, observation, and if you suspect there is uh, a water issue, stock showing a reluctance to drink, the best thing to do there is to provide an alternative water source and then observe to see what happens. One of the key things for improving water quality on your farm, where possible, try and maintain ground cover in the paddock and particularly try and maintain really good levels of ground cover in those drainage lines that feed into the dams. By keeping those drainage lines well grassed up, that'll tend to act like a filter for the water as it comes into the dam and filtering out you know, soil and, and, and sediment and manure and things like that. So here we're looking at an example of a dam on a property that has been fenced off to promote high water quality. The fenced off area means that the area around the dam is well grassed up, so that acts like a filter. But also importantly, the fence keeps stock out of the dam, so therefore ensuring the water doesn't get fouled up. This dam, it's a big dam, it's a key dam on the property, and what they've done here is they've set up a system with a, with a solar pump that pumps the water up to some header tanks on a hill, and that header tank then feeds water to a, a network of troughs throughout the property. The dam is, is providing the property with a reliable source and a large volume of high quality water, even in drought conditions or in dry conditions. And that high quality water, through the reticulation system, the owners are able to then pump and distribute that high quality water throughout the property. Sometimes, you know, we can have a, a water source that, that is really good one day, and the next day can be contaminated, and thereby rendering it unsuitable for stock. When dams become contaminated with all that debris and manure, you'll notice that the water goes off, it has a quite a dark appearance, and it actually has quite a, a bad smell, which really puts the stock off from drinking it, makes it quite unpalatable. During dry periods also, dams can become contaminated by algae. Algae affects the taste and, and the smell of water, uh, making it less palatable to livestock. If you suspect that you've got blue-green algae, which we know is toxic to livestock, a separate water test can be done to determine its presence. Dams that are contaminated either with debris or manure or, or algae, generally one of the first steps is to try and aerate that water. And that, that can be simply done by putting a, a firefighting unit on the bank and just reticulating the water over. Water quality has a positive correlation with livestock performance. And so if you're looking at uh, ways to improve water quality on your farm, or if you're trying to deal with a contamination issue, contact your local land services advisory officer for specific advice or help in addressing water quality or any contamination issues you might have on farm.